What does it say? Is this like a Chinese restaurant? I think it is. Yeah, I, th I think we found the Chinese restaurant, guys. Nice, I'll eat here. Can I have some chicken fried rice? I really want some. You, you will serve me chicken fried rice. No. Then I will talk to your associate over here. Someone will serve me chicken fried rice. I really, I, I really crave some. You're not going to serve me either? Well, well sorry then. This, may, may, maybe, your, uh, maybe your manager. I can speak to your manager. What, what does your manager say? Your manager's not going to give me any other? Well, I'm going to have to leave a negative review on Trustpilot for this place. Okay. Oh, look. There's, e there's even more of you guys here. Okay. Really? Now, you're, now, now, now your staff are trying to attack me just for ordering chicken fried rice? Th this is not right. I, I, I demand, I demand a, a refund on the money that I didn't yet pay for my chicken fried rice. I demand it. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 18 modded with Ravenhurst 6. We are now on episode 15. So, guys, in the last episode, we almost got to level 20 to be able to construct the workbench. We are literally at level 19 now, and we need one more level to go. Um, we went back home as well, and we uh, kind of had a bit of an onslaught of Zeds over there as well, which is pretty fun. But now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finally complete the uh, trader mission for the cheerleader killing quest. So we got a quest to kill a ton of cheerleader Zeds, and it's just over here in this nearby town. So we just got to go ahead and make our way down there, and then hopefully we're going to be able to complete that. So the cheerleader quest, I believe, is just beyond here. I think it's in the desert, so we might have to think about overheating uh, issues slightly. But yeah, this town also might have some good stuff that we can loot. So there is like a graveyard here, by the looks of things, which might have some nice stuff in. Um... So yeah, I'm kind of interested to see what we could find here. And we're also going to like chop some stumps and stuff as we go, because I also need to be considering getting more honey. Now, um, I did get infected in the last episode. I ate one of the honeys to get rid of that. So infection is no, long no longer a thing. We had three honeys, and now we have two. Aha. So let's go ahead and make our way down here. And I want to see exactly what we can find. So hopefully... We're going to be able to find some pretty good stuff in this town. Um, so yeah, we'll probably kill the cheerleaders and then maybe do a little bit of looting in some of these buildings just to see if we can get what we need. So there's a couple of new buildings I've seen here that I've not seen in vanilla. Um, that's Ada's cabinet. We know that one. But there's a couple of new ones around here that I haven't seen. Like, like this house, for example. This, this one is definitely not a vanilla house. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool new ones here. And I definitely want to see if I can explore some of those. Um, I think, though, Butcher Pete's is going to be one that I want to loot for additional food and other supplies. Um, we also have the Seven End as well that I wanted to go and see. Uh, oh, yeah, and McDowell's as well. Remember, remember McDowell's when I, when I looted it with Kicks, guys? Um, if, you, if you weren't there, um, I definitely recommend having a look at that because it was uh, it was pretty awesome. There's a whole, there was a whole underside, and there was like, I think there was like skeletons down there. Um, so, yeah, there's a couple of things that you might be able to do. I don't, uh, I don't know if it's going to be the same layout as it was before, if it's just been converted and it's going to be the same. I'm not sure, but I think maybe that's going to be a place you can potentially loot at some point. Yeah, there's lots of Zeds around here, uh, lots and lots of them. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to see about killing all these guys as quick as we can. Um, okay, uh, who's coming from where? I hear some. Okay, there's one over here. We have this lady here. Okay, come in. Right, knock you down. But yeah, plenty of zombies to kill, which means I'm gonna be uh, power leveling, which is which is actually pretty good. Um, so who else is coming up here? So we got this lady. So I can get rid of you. There we go. Right, who else is coming out here? So we have this dude. All right, it's going to take you down as well. Nice, one shot, one kill. Okay, and girls is in here. There's one in here as well. It's going to take you out quickly too. Boop, and I missed. Boop, and I got you this time. Boop, there it is. Boop, there it is. <laughs> nice. I couldn't, like, I couldn't work out any better. Um, okay, so let's keep going then beyond the McDowell's. And it looks like now we're outside the boundaries of the town because once again we're finding hills and more zombies. So let's go ahead and smash you. Oh, nice. That was actually. I didn't actually expect that one to smash smash his head, and there's a crawler right here as well. Come at you. Come on. There you go. You dead now? Yep. The crawler is dead too. Alright, so we're a quarter of the way to leveling up to level 20. And I can't wait to get the workbench and do some more quests, guys. That's going to be awesome. We can finally progress then. See, so yeah, it looks like this chili the quest is going to be in the desert. So, 
yeah, we might have a couple of overheating problems to contend with here. But I don't know, at least at least we're making some kind of progress, right? So that's good. Uh, okay, so let's come over this way. And let's go and kind of take the top route and see what we can find over here. So where is this quest marker? I'm guessing it's so oh, whoa, okay, big big old drop there. Uh, let's go a little bit carefully here so I don't break my legs. There you go. So yeah, I'm guessing it's like around here. Let's start back in the middle of this uh, kind of crater. Let's see. Right, we're in the area. Right, here it is. We're ready to accept the challenge. Let's start so I recover completely first because my pistol is out, my bow is out. I have no ranged weapons really. I'm just fighting melee. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Ready? One, two, three, go. Here we go. Right, so we have this one. Let's try and get him, get rid of him as quickly as we can. Okay, you can go. Okay, come on. Right, she's down. There's two. Right, there's a couple more over here. See so a cheerleaders in the desert for some reason. I guess that means they're really hot stuff. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of you. Um, she's down. All right, I think we only need to kill three, so that's fine. And uh, let's go and destroy this one as well. There you go. You're out. Nice. So all of them. Yep, that's all of them. And then we just had to return to a trader. Is it pointing us to the to the original trader? No. Okay, so that's not pointing us anywhere in particular. But yeah, there we go. There's the chili the quest all done. And there we go. We're slightly slightly more leveled up now than we were before. Awesome. So yeah, definitely trying to push for this level 20, guys. So yeah, I it might seem like I'm trying to rush for it, but I want to get this workbench done. Um, because that's gonna allow us to do so much more. Like once we get tools, like iron tools and things, we're gonna be able to build properly. Uh, we're going to be able to actually make uh, harvest resources faster, make all the stuff we need as well. So yeah, I definitely want to get this as quick as we can, honestly. So yeah, and then we can make repair kits. And how are repair kits made in this uh, version, anyway? Um, I was looking at the wood bow as well, because I wanted to get one of those. But how is a repair kit made? Because um, there's all kinds of repair kits. There's a forge repair kit, a uh, farm table repair kit. Uh, I just want a regular old one. Um, so repair kit, water filtration unit repair kit. Um, Where's well, just a regular one? Here he is. Regular repair kit is forged iron, duct tape, and cloth. So it's not that hard to make, which is good. But yeah, I just wanted to see how you how you actually did it, so I could be sure. Um, okay, so there's a dude here. You can get down. Oh, look at him slide down. Nice. Watch his little body go spazzing down the hill. <laughs> That's the good thing about. That's the one good thing I like about A17 and 18 is their ragdolls. Um, how they how they did that. It feels it's much more satisfying now. Just like watching them flop down and like you know fall uncontrollably. It's really good. So yeah, I think what we can do then is before we go back to the traders, why don't we loot this McDowell's place? Because this would be pretty fun. Um, and yeah, there's gonna be zombies around here. I think in the truck. Yeah. Oh, that's a footballer in there. Okay, footballer in the truck. That's gonna be interesting. Um, can we go in the front of the truck here? Is there anything in the front? Let's see. Uh, nothing in the front, by the looks of things. Just a... Uh, yeah, just a little attachment area to the back. Yes, yeah, so this guy right here is... Uh, how much health does this thing have? Oh yeah, you're going to be here a long time. He's going to be here a very long time. Okay. Oh, actually, got him through there. Nice. Okay, yeah. He's, he's going to be there a while. Uh, but this guy... It's not going to be behind bars for a while, so we can go get rid of you. There you go. You know what, I should probably put on my armor now. Just to... I won't be able to run so fast, but just to save a little bit. And you know what, we're going to put on a green duster here now. Um, actually, that goes better with my color scheme. Nice. Alright, so can we can we go on this guy? He's going to be here forever, otherwise. Um, unfortunately... Oh, I can actually hit him as well, which is pretty nice. Can I um, power attack this thing? There you go. Actually, that does quite a lot of damage if I power attack it. And I can actually power attack quite a long way, which is also very good. Uh, okay, there's one guy over here. Let's go and deal with these. Deal with these random walkers over here. Okay, so we've got guys around here as well. Okay. So let's go and let you out. Okay, oop. Ouch. Don't, don't, you, don't you start here. Yeah, remember, we're in heavy armor now, backing way slower. Okay, so he's still trying to break out, uh, and then we got this dude. Just gonna kill you quickly. There you go. Right, so those guys are taken out, and now we can go and help out Mr. Footballer again. Hey, come to come to the back of the truck. 
Why, why, why are you doing that? Come, come back to the back of the truck. Right, now he's starting to recover a bit. Because I don't want to be out of standing when he finally makes his way out of here. Okay, so... Go on. Keep working. Keep working. Right, let me help you now. Okay, so we'll help him out here. And we get a little bit of iron out of this as well. Okay. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Right, you've got to go. There we go. Right, so how much health is left on this thing? 240, 220. Okay, he's nearly out. And then we're going to have to deal with the footballer. Okay, oh, there we go. He's out. And now he's going to start running. There you go, knock him down. Take him out. There you go, footballer is finished. And right in here we have some shower boxes, look at that. So a good little reward for breaking in here is we get the shower boxes. There we go. And I can six shot these things, which I think I was still, I think I was like seven shotting them before. So yeah, the stone axe with the mod is definitely better. It's awesome. So let's open all these boxes and then let's see what we get from the McDowell's truck. Hopefully something good. So let's see what we get in here. So in this one, we are going to get um, potatoes, blueberries. That one's not so good. But that's okay. We're, I'm sure we'll get some other stuff. What have we got in here? We have honey in that one, and I see some shams, so we'll definitely take those. I mean, potatoes we can make it to seeds if we want to, but that's going to take a little bit of a uh, little bit of time in leveling. So yeah, I might uh, might just wait for those. Okay, so here we go. Here's the McDowell's um, area here. And I seem to remember that you had to go like down the back first. Uh, there was like a, a, a basement section. Uh, okay, so let's go and see if we can unlock this guy. There you go. Okay, unlock this thing. Oh, he's a, a slightly faster Edgar. Okay, yeah, here we go. So yeah, you had to kind of go down here. Um, there's a breakable floors right there, I think, or are they not? Hmm, maybe they're not. Okay, um, yeah. So here's the top section, um, and there's the bottom section as well with a load of stuff in. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these business dudes if we can. Okay. Oh, hang on. You're going a bit faster now. Try and knock him out. Yeah, he's uh, walking a bit, walking a bit quicker than before. So he is raging. Right, knock you out. Come on. You're down. Okay, this guy is angry too. Right, he's dead too. Right, two businessmen out. Let's see if we can get businessman number three. Okay, I cannot hit this guy to save my life, can I? Okay, um, Al Sada. Come here. Having no stamina is kind of sucky, but there you go. Okay, oh, come on, I should be landing hits on these guys. Okay, come around this way. Kind of weave through these guys again. Okay, here we go. Right, now I can knock you out. Right, come on, can I kill you? There you go, he's dead. Okay, get a couple of good hits on you. Get a hit on you, there you go, you're out. Alright, so those guys are down. Let's just, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll clear this whole area out and then we'll go ahead and uh, loot it after we've cleared it. So we'll find all the we'll find all the good bits. That bit goes to the outside, I think. Oh, actually, maybe not. This might go to, um... Oh, maybe this is like a toilet or something it goes to. Okay. Let's go and break away through here. Okay, stand it is really low, so I guess we'll just hit gently with the pickaxe and break through here. There you go. Alright, what, what, what do you want, sir? What do you want? There you go, stay down. So what's back here? Yeah, just the toilet back here. Okay, yeah, so we're going to open it all out, and then we're going to loot it afterwards. Uh, once I've got everything... Once I've got like, everything opened out, then we can like chop stuff up, loot stuff, and get all the good stuff we need. Okay, so that's all good. Yeah, def definitely made made some improvements to this place since last time, though, which is, which is really awesome. Not going to lie. Okay, so what's down here? Okay. So down here, yeah, we have... Okay, that area is locked right there, but we do have some sleepers here. So first up, we probably have this lady. Here we can go and kill. Okay, come on. She's dead. Um, okay, there is a, a medium area pile here too. Right, so this lady is... You stuck? No, you're not stuck. You're just being stupid. You're just being stupid. Okay, give me an S T U C K. I'm a stuck stupid cheerleader. <laughs> okay, um, so while those guys are breaking out here, let's go loot this room because um, we may as well just let them do all the work for us. 
let's see what we have in here. So, shall we box? Let's see what we have in here. Hopefully, some nice things in here. Uh, okay, so we got beer and eggs. Quite a weird combination. They made, uh, they're trying to make like some kind of horrible concoction cocktail thing. I have no idea. Um, okay, so there's a box right here. Okay, this guy's out yet? No. Okay. I just want to make sure that they're not out yet. Because otherwise that would be bad. Uh, what have we got here? Box of screws. I can just open that. Um, that'll give me 50 screws. Yep. Keep all the box of screws as we go. And let's see what we have here. We have a magazine for shotgun weapons. Uh, I'll scout it for another dragon. Because we don't have a shotgun yet, so... I'd rather just learn by doing and then get the extra knowledge points so you can do that. So Xiaomi box right here. What is in the Xiaomi box right here? We have Xiaomi sandwiches, Xiaomi ham and some salt. Okay, so then this one, so look in here. So this one we have um, a power tool small tank mod and some SEM62s. Nice. Okay, so these guys are nearly out I think. Yep. Let me just like help you a little bit there. And that door's locked as well. Okay, they broke out. So here we go. There you go. Oh, and this thing's actually run out of your ability. Nice. <laughs> that, that, that's definitely helpful. Um, okay, let's go make a new wooden club. Which I should be able to do here. And uh, so just go wood club. We'll modify this one with the new fortifying grip in a minute. And then we can uh, modify this guy. Take this off. And then we can add that back in a minute. Okay, so yeah, we're crafting um, yellow quality gloves now, which is awesome. So, oh, I crafted two of these. I only wanted one. There you go. Take that. Hey, lady, I'm trying to, I'm trying to modify my club there, right? So stay away from me. So modify this and then add this. Nice. Awesome. So now we have a yellow quality club. This is very awesome. Right, you need to, lady, you need to go down. Okay, you need to just. Relax, calm down, and stay there. Yeah, and the cheerleader is gone. There you go, cheerleader's out as well. And now we can go ahead and move down here. So, uh, what did this bit open? Um, oh, wow, loads of stuff in here. There's, there's even a campfire down here. I remember that. Okay. Uh, well, I forgot about it, and then, then I remembered it when I saw it because, like, I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember." Did it just good old, good old times with kicks when we were down here. At least there's no skeletons this time. Oh, a primitive bow, a fifty-six one. Um, you know, what? I'll take that because it's it's better than nothing um, when it comes to firing stuff. So yeah, I'll take that, and I guess I'll just scrap the wooden bow because we're not going to get anything from that anyway. Um, the stone shovel is going to need a repair soon, but I'll keep it for now. All right, so let's go and break through these shower boxes and see exactly what we get in here. Okay, Ooh, I've woken. I've awoken the undead. They're coming. Okay, that's fine. We can just open these. There's a lots of shamways in here. Okay, I'm gonna get surrounded in here if I'm not careful. Oh yeah, they're breaking out quick. Okay, let's go and uh, let them come through here. All right, let's break down this utility car here. Oh, th apparently this is not made of metal. It's made of wood. Even though it gives you metal in return. Okay. Let's go and let them break out a bit. Alright, and then when they will come out here, here we go. Okay, you're down. You're down too. Oh, and there's an army dude here. Okay, oh boy. He may bleed, he may bleed. Get up, get up, get up. And use this guy. Okay. Okay, is this a feral army dude or is it a regular one? A regular. Okay, there we go. Got him in the head. There you go. Army dude is down. Okay. Don't throw about here anymore. Yeah, that was actually a pretty tough, pretty tough one to find down there. Come on, you. Right, lady, lady, what are you doing? Right, nice, you're down. And then this dude needs to go down as well. Right, don't, don't you try and hit me, you. Get out. Get out, I said. Haha. -ha. Right, there we go. He's gone. And now he can finally come down here. We should probably search these janitor cards as well, because they might have something nice in them. Uh, that one had a sham sandwich in them. I wonder why it had a sham sandwich in it, of all, of all things. This is like a janitor cart. Like, that's clean. The sham sandwich is like known, known for being notoriously dirty. Um, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't question these things anymore. Uh, okay, so there is a bag down there. Don't know if it's worth even going for, though. But now we can go and search everything in here and see what we get. So let's go and uh, begin our searching 
of the Modells, and hopefully we'll get some nice stuff in here. See, so we're almost, um, almost level 20. Which is good. Um, so yeah, I think it's the uh, zombie nose that are down here. There's a curious hatchery right here. With nothing in it. I guess that's for the uh, fetch clear. Which is fine. Anything in there? Nothing there. Anything in here? Let's see. Uh, oh, what's this? We have a lettuce seed schematic. Use that. And we now learn how to craft that. Awesome. Uh, in here we have not much there some plastics which is fine we can sell it um, if anything jars I'm not worried about jars and here we have canopies okay I'll take I'll take the canopies and here we have another room I think one of these floor things had like a hidden stash in it if I remember rightly I think it was like somewhere in the floor yeah there, there it is it's a safe down there that's it yeah I knew there was something in this room I just couldn't remember what it was I was like I, I seem to remember this room having something but what it was, I don't know. Okay, well, more zombies are coming. Don't know if it's another watering horde or wherever it could be. But that's okay, we'll let them come to me. For now, let's go and open this up. And let's go and search all these things down here. So there's a cooler, which has in it some potatoes and corn. I don't need those. We'll grow our own eventually anyway. We have some canned food, and now we're going to have some company coming down here. Yeah, we got some company here. Let's try to break down the floor. Hey! Get down. Oh, I got him in the leg. That was a good shot. Nice. Send him, send him like, flipping over. Which is always fun. Okay, hey. What are you doing? Yeah, you didn't die yet? There you go. Right, get rid of that guy. Stupid zombie. Okay, so he's out. And now I can go ahead and finally search all these, um... Shopping carts and shammy box and things. Okay, so let's go and search these. So this shammy box. Hopefully more honey would be good. Um, there's beer. Okay, beer, beer I'll take as well for insect traps. And I'm sure it's using other things too. Let's have a look. So this one. What's in this one? This one has sham sandwich. Again, can be useful with vitamins. So definitely want to keep those. Uh, again, three more sham sandwiches. Yeah, so vitamins will stop you getting food poisoning. Which is a nice uh, a nice addition too. Um, and that shammy box we didn't search either. So you got a ton of shower boxes in this one, and in here we got, there we go, got some honey and seed packets. Very nice, I'll take them. Uh, is that it? I think so. Just some just some odd bits of junk every now and then, and like some kind of bodies to chop up as well. But I'm not really too worried about that. Into Janus cart, so all these have been searched. So now, we're going to go ahead and search everything up the top, and see what else we can find in here. Uh, so nothing in there, but there's some sinks which might have um, might have ammo or wrenches. So we definitely want to search these. Because you know, things, things can be really useful. Uh, what do we have in here? Seed packet, there you go, see? Because so, yeah, all these seed packets that we're getting, we can craft, I think, into any seed in the game. Uh, which is good. What have we got here? Uh, a cucumber seed recipe. Use that. Nice. Grab that one. And then we also have some junk right here. See? It can be very useful to just be looting through all this stuff. Because you never know what you're going to find. Right, these store shelves we can actually search. Nothing on that one. And we can search this one as well. Anything on this one? Canned food, nice. Kind of, kind of what you'd expect to find in here, which is good. Right, nothing there. Uh, we can search these store shelves too. Awesome. Uh, there you go, some more beer and casino coins right there. Fridge, we can search as well. And in the fridge, what do we have in here? We have a jar of water. And around the back. Okay, so we have, what's this? That's a table cash register. What's in this big old cash register? Quite a bit of, old, quite a bit of old cash. That's, that's a lot more than I thought we were going to get. Uh, a coffee maker. Come on, be, be a little coffee in here. It's an industrial one. Ah, oh, there was nothing in there. Um, let's see, there's a little section back here as well. Microwave's opened, but there's a drinks fountain. wonder if we get yucca juice smoothie, that'd be amazing. Uh, nope, just regular old yucca juice, but that's fine too. And all these different um, all these different tills right here. I love all these mobs, this is awesome. So, oh wow, we're getting a load of cash from these. Nice, okay, so that's all done. And then we just have to search around the front. And then hopefully that's going to be everything here. There we have a tomato seed. Okay, I will take that. So tomato seed we definitely want to keep as well because that's one we don't have yet. And let's have a look at this. So junk we have. Oh wait, that was a screw. We already have some screws on us, so I may as well just keep those. And we have a toilet with murky water in it. Another sink. This one could be. This one could be handy. So this sink we have. What's that? Coffee and a short iron pipe. I'll take the coffee and some. Uh, trash cans right here. So in this trash can, anything good? Nope, nothing in there. Alright, 
so yeah we're starting to slow down a little bit but luckily we're kind of close to home so it's not going to be not going to be too difficult to uh, drop all our stuff back when we are done nothing there so my max health is kind of capped at 80 hang on is that my max health or no no it's not capped it's just that I'm not healing because I didn't actually invest in anything into healing factor yet which is kind of surprising usually I do like that's one of the first things I usually do but in this mod I'm just like you know what nope <laughs> nope I've got uh, I got other plans to do Oh, I gotta stretch, guys, and warm up my hands because my hands are freezing. I, uh, j I uh, just so you guys know what I'm recording. It's like very, very cold in here right now. Uh, I'm wearing like two layers, um, and I'm still, I'm still cold. I have, I have zero gloves right now. So yeah, hands, hands get a little bit freezing every now and then, but it's okay. It's the, the thing, the things I do for you guys, eh? The things I do. I, I recorded, I recorded freezing conditions. Hopefully, it starts to warm up around here soon. I hope so. All right, so let's go and see what we got here. So there's another shamway place right there. Okay, there's one zombie right here, so we're gonna take it down. So you can die. You dead yet? No, you're dead. And there's also this place here, this little um, this little store. So I could go in here. You know what we'll go in here, why not? Just smash this open and say hello. Okay. So I don't know if this is bulletproof glass or not. Let's see. They might just break straight out. Yeah, it's it's, it's just like breaking straight out here. Alright. I'll uh, go and deal with these guys then. Because there's a lot of store shelves in here we can loot as well. Okay, let's go and help him break out. Okay. Right, so this guy can go down as well. Got him. Oh, in the back as well. That looked painful. Um, okay. See, so yeah, there's actually quite a load of stuff. There's quite a load of stuff in here. Let me let me see what's back here. More sleepers. Yep. Got got some farmers. Got some farmers. Come in, farmers. Okay, this guy's a little bit faster. Okay, uh, let me come outside. Yeah, let's make our way outside so we can kind of separate them out a bit. All right, you're down again. Wow, this guy's just not dying, is he? There you go. Man, he, he, these, these guys didn't want to die. And a stripper. Okay, I don't know what kind of business you're running. But okay. It's just like this is like the farmer's wife. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Anything out here? Yeah, this one. When he breaks his door open. Are you gonna break it open? Or not? Okay, you know what? Oh! There you go. Just like switch weapons. Out he comes. And there we go. He's down, and there we go, that's everything done here. Oh, there's a scree okay, something something spawned a screamer in. Of course. Something spawned in a screamer. I'm guessing there's a gravestone out here. Let's go check. I, I have a feeling that's what it is, just one little gravestone. Let's see. Yep. There it is. Alright, let's go and get you down. And then destroy this stupid little gravestone thing before anything else gets spawned here. Yeah, these these gravestones though, they can be kinda evil. They can, they can be kind of nasty. Uh, so yeah, let's get rid of these. Stupid gravestone. Get rid of that thingy. And then we should be good. Alright, so take this guy out. Almost done. 92, 68, 44, 20. Done. There we go. So that should stop it spawning at least. Um, okay, so that's pretty much everything around the side here. Well done. We are super we are super duper over encumbered now, so let's drop some stuff I don't want. So like this. The glass. Do I need to eat right now? Uh, Max down it is... Not too bad, um, but there, sh there should be some stuff I can drop out of here. Um, yeah, let's see. You know what? We could probably scrap the springs. Um, I don't need this one, this one spring. And this jar, I don't need that either. So you can probably just get rid of those, right? Yeah, that, that, that makes it a bit better. And now I'm moving slightly faster. There you go, that's, that's a little bit better. Alright, so I think that's all the Zeds cleared in here. So we should be good to go ahead and... Have a little look inside and see what they've uh, see what they got. So anything in here? No. So all these store shelves though could be uh, could be lootable. Um, let's go and smash this open here. So there's some coolers. Let's see what's in here. So in the coolers, what do we have? We have uh, some ears of corn again. Okay. This game really likes throwing corn at me, doesn't it? It's, it's a very it's a, it's a corny game, guys. It's a very corny game. Uh, right. Let's go and open that one, and then we get some cat food here. Pill case. Maybe we get like a schematic or something. Would be good. And then we've got steroids and a recog. 
Okay, that's not bad. I mean, the steroids we can use um, to help cut our stuff back home. Uh, let's get the box of screws and some glue there. Glue definitely is a useful one. Um, okay, so there's a nightstand which has a a grumstick, a blue one. Nice. So this one we can move as well. So yeah, all these store shelves being movable is pretty nice. Uh, okay, ink, very nice. So this is our main source of ink is these store shelves, definitely. Um, okay, so any of these little that one is? Yeah, so lots of stuff we can loot in here. Including those are brass door handles, it seems. And then this one, we have water and corn. <laughs> water and corn. <laughs> water and corn. Oh man, yeah, we, we, could, we did see Adam's family, guys. We, we really could if we wanted to. Water and corn, water and corn, water and corn, doom, doom, water and corn. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Um, anyway, before I get too distracted with like Adam's family musings, um, let me see. Can I dump off any of the stuff that I really don't need? Is there like stuff I can just scrap? I mean, nails we can make whenever we want now, so that's fine. I can, it's, screw, it's screws and um, nuts and bolts we have to hang on to, but nails, not so bad. Um, also, we can just get rid of this cloth as well. Yeah, because I really try not to become over coming. Oh well, there's like loads of shelves like crammed in together here. Uh, or, or is it all lootable here, or is it just one? Just just one of them is lootable. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that one is not. This desk is. I think this desk is lootable. No, I, I saw. I saw something we could uh, loot that was not touched. Um, that's the cooking but I think we can pick it up. Um, okay, there's a box. Let's have a look in here. What's in the box? In the box we have absolutely zero, and in this one. What do we have in here? We have more salt. Yes, yeah, so definitely get definitely good. We're getting a load of salt here. We definitely need that for making jerky and stuff like that. I wonder if you can get salt or if it's literally just loot only. I think it's loot only. Okay, what's in here? So this one has a fish and chips recipe. Nice. I'll take that. That looks good. And what have we got here? So we have a purse. All right, here we go. So this is the um, I think this is where we get to the good stuff. Yeah, the shower box is right here. This is the good stuff here now. So it's going to open all this up, and then we got two shower boxes and loads of cardboard boxes to go through. So yeah, this this quest at least um, this questing around this area has at least given me a load of food, uh, which is going to be very very useful. Uh, there goes so we got a blueberry pie and some sham sandwiches, very good. So we'll definitely keep those, and then we got another sham sandwich there, and then these are just regular old cardboard boxes I think. Let's see, in this one we have more nuts and bolts. So yeah, I'm keeping those just because I'm not sure what they're using anymore. Um, another salt right there. And then this is a gun store box, apparently. So we're going to get here. Hopefully something good here. Um, what do we get? We get seven bullet casings. Um, an armor bench schematic. Let's use that. Awesome. And it also gives us the junk turret parts as well. Junk turret parts I'm not too worried about. That's fine. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not going to keep any junk turret parts here. That's so, that's so good. There's a safe here. Again, I can't crack it right now. Like, all these safes I'm seeing, I'm going to have to crack another time. Though there is, right here, a munitions box. And I definitely want to see what's in here. Because this one's going to be good. So, an airdrop's coming as well. Awesome. There is an improved fitting schematic and an MRE. So, I think we will eat the MRE. And I think we can put the improved fittings on the sweat helmet, right? Let me see. Let's go modify this guy. Uh, yes, we can. We can put the improved fittings on you. That gives me less of a movement penalty now. And where those? Nice. So that was our overall, overall very good find right there. You guys earlier probably see that munitions box. You're like, Max, Max, turn around, turn around, go to it. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's that one done. And let's see in here. What have we got in here? So this trash can has iron arrowheads. We don't need those. We can we can make those whenever we want, right? So that's fine. Uh, any other lootable objects around here? Nope, none of these are lootable. Okay, so any of these lootable? Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, and nope, so none of this stuff is. There's some fridges though, and this one we can have a look in. So what's in this guy? So in this guy, we have a fish. Perhaps you'd like to seal with the legendary dance of the fish. Aye, aye, the dance of the fish! The fish, the fish, the terrible fish, with the cloudy eye, with the cloudy eye! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. But if you haven't seen it, it's called Gladiatorus. I recommend you watch it, it's absolutely hilarious. I love it. Um, yeah, it's uh, de definitely definitely one to, to watch if you guys are into just like historic comedy kind of thing. And oh, hello! What, what's falling down here? Okay, so, so trying to give me a jump scare right there. I don't know. 
Sounds like a sounds like a structural integrity bug right there. Uh, and there's a bookshelf right here. Come on, be something. Uh, be something amazing. Be something amazing. Oh, what's this? Uh, electric wire relay. Oh, time relay one. And for construction tools, magazine. Nice. Two points into that. I will definitely take. So yeah, plus two in there is great. Uh, glue and salt. That's another good one. And this one we have a uh, doorknob and a can of food as well. There you go. I think that's everything here. Yeah, I think that's everything loose over here. And then we also have a um is that a grey stone on the top of there. Okay, hang on, what's in what's inside here? Looks like there's gonna be something inside here. Hang on a second. Let's just open this. Is there anything back here? Oh, is it is an aircon. Okay. AC unit. Oh I see. Uh is there anything else up here that I can do? Nope, nothing much there. Okay, I think we had some broken glass in our inventory as well, I could probably turf out if I didn't do that already. But I'm not sure actually. Uh no, we, we don't have that. But we got a broken nail that we can just uh, get rid of here. Alright, so we do have plenty of uh, drinks, so we're going to take one of the steroids now. Um, and that should hopefully help me with my carrying capacity quite a bit. Because I, th I think it gives you like a whole extra row um, that it does. Where is, where is my steroid? That's the other thing. i gotta I got to find it now. In all this uh, all this junk, i got to find my steroid. Um, so where are you? You were, you were here, didn't you? Oh, there you are. We've got three of them. So take one of these, and now that gives us... Yeah, now, now we're hardly encumbered at all. Nice. So that's this place done. Uh, we have another zombie coming. It's going to take you out as well. Okay, oh, and I can't power attack with a stone axe. Oh, you got a watering hole coming, maybe? I have no idea. Let's see. We can't. Let's go and knock you down. Okay, there we go. You're out. You're out. Okay, we got this one. So knock you down. Knock you out. Then knock you down, take you out. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna loot this at Amali Oats place as well. Um, before we go ahead. Uh, before we go ahead and end off the episode, because we have a little bit of time left. So looting the Amali Oats, and hopefully that'll be enough to get us to the next level. So yeah, definitely looking forward to finally getting a workbench if we can. Okay, Amali Oats, let's go inside and have a look in here. Okay. Um, so I don't know if there's many sleepers in this one. I think this is, I think this technically class, class itself is a remnant, so I don't know what exactly we're going to find in here, but we have some pain pills right there, which I'll take, and blood bags as well, why Why not? Okay, so we've got lockers, let's have a look in these lockers here, we have a brass trophy, so that can be scrapped. Mineral water, hopefully? I, I really hope we find some mineral water now, because we're running out. Yep, there's one. Take that, and I probably should drink that now, because we did take the thingy thing. Um, oh, here we go. We have some uh, we have some cans here, so we can buy all the stuff here. So yeah, all the canned food, just buy those. Can of peas, can of pears, can of miso. Um, we got more yucca juice here, so let's go and buy all those if we can. We can buy two of them. Two yucca juice. Nice. Okay, we'll keep those. Nice. So we can buy all that, and we can start searching this stuff as well. So four oil in there. So now again, hey, there's a stripper in here. Why is there a stripper in here? Okay, hey, don't, don't, don't. You're gonna, you're gonna give me an infection. You don't put protection on it. I don't want your ZTDs. All right, all right, there you go. Get, get your, get your disgusting bodies away from me. Okay, else is coming here. What is going on out here? Hello, putrid girl. Now I'm gonna smash you in the face, putrid girl. You're getting up, but now you're falling down, putrid girl. Alright, so back inside here. None behind there, so yeah, just check everything as we go. So yeah, this place we can dig out for all the cobblestone and concrete we need. Um, so yeah, this this is why I like this place, it's got a load of stuff here. Um, for now I'm just going for the uh, like the mainline loot, I'm not really going to dig stuff out of here. But yeah, food pile small, what's in here? Some honey maybe, if we're lucky? Nope, we just got, uh, okay, some pet nails. Okay. So yeah, even even now we're, we're we're being slowed down after the steroid because it does drain your stamina pretty quickly. Um, okay, so now we have someone in here. Let's go out here. We have oh, we have a future girl here. Yeah, ouch. Okay, let's back up back up this way again. Then you come through here. Okay, and blunt weapons is leveled. Okay, don't let her push you through the uh, through the wall. Okay, you need to get down. Sorry for a little burp there, guys. Hopefully that didn't show up too much. Oh, there you go. You need to get down. And stay down. 
when, when I say get down, I don't mean like get down and like immediately just come up again. I mean get down and just like stay there and, and don't and don't move anymore. That, that's what I mean. So yeah, you stay there. In this room, what do we have? We have anyone? Yeah, businessman. Okay, and we gotta watch out for falling, falling floors as well. But listen. Okay, so we have a safe in here. There's a closed-up filing cabinet, which might have some books. Let's have a look. So in the filing cabinet, we have a letter. Okay, that's pretty much everything in here, apart from... Wait, these desks are leadable. What's in this desk? So in this one, we have uh, 762 rounds. Nice, I'll take those. In this one... Yeah, we are completely full, though. Um, so we've got five minutes of stories left, so hopefully we can loot this in five minutes. And we'll use the last, last of that time to get out of here. Um, and then we can go to the next floor. Okay, so to the next floor. I don't know if this is the top floor or if there's there's more. I think there's more than just this bit. Okay, here we go. So this guy is first up. Knock you down. There you go, let's go in. Back in the legs. Right, he's dead. Okay, oh, don't you, don't you hit me good sir. Ow! How dare you! What is the meaning of this? Okay, let's go up here. Come on, you. Okay, got him. He's down, and then we got these flaming guys here as well. Okay, I don't want, I don't want this guy to hit me. We can avoid it. Get a bit of lag here. I think these particle effects on these Zeds are kind of messing with the uh, messing with the game a bit. That's okay. Right, come back here. Right, you're down, and then let's go ahead and take this guy out. Nice. So these guys are dead. I did see some crates up here. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a working cis crate all the way up there. Um, okay, so let's go around here. Let's just see if there's anything else. Nope. Okay, so there's a working cis crate right here. You never know. We might get a better like a better a good fire axe would be nice if we get that. You never know. Hopefully we will. But we'll see what we got in here. We have okay wood frames. Um, so yeah, this this stuff I can't even take. So just scrap it all. Um, that's fine. And then we got a bit outside. Let me guess. There's gonna be vultures or ravens that are gonna cast me. No, no vultures or ravens here. Well, that's good. So far, so far. Uh, okay, and then we cart this way. And I'm guessing this is where the uh, the top bit is. We gotta go to. So we jump in here. Yep. And there's one more hazmat dude right here. Come here. Okay. I can I not strike him through here? Yeah, I can. Make out now. There you go. Okay, I want to see if I can make him ragdoll down here. Oh yes! There you go. That's what you get. You can you can stay down there now. Yeah. Now what are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do now? You can't. You're just gonna get hit by my arrow and then have an arrow in your head for the rest of your life. That's what you're gonna do. Yeah. You angry about it? Yeah. I, I would be too, Mr. Zombie. I would be too. See here, where are you going? Okay, you're, you're going that way. Where, where are you going this way? Well, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, doesn't matter now because you're dead. Ha ha ha. Okay, so he's out, and now we can climb up this ladder and claim our victory. Here we go. So we have. Oh, okay, so there's a business up here. There's another working cis box right here. It's going to open this guy up. Alright, so up here we have um, two repair kits. Nice. That could be good to replace with something. Um, I guess four mechanical parts for repair kits is worth it. Yep, and light bulbs I don't really care about. So that's fine, we don't need to worry about that. There is a medical pile right here. Let's see what's in here. So in the medical pile loot, we get a steroid again, which we're going to need, because ours is going to wear off soon. And then in the hardened chest, please be a shotgun, please be a shotgun, please be a shotgun, we get ourselves a crossbow, um, a magazine extender. Actually, that's really good. Okay, so scrap this. Um, we will drop. Let's see what we can drop here for a mag extender. Okay, you know this, uh, you know this glow stick. We don't need that. Um, oh, it's really cool that you can drop it and it will it will just glow down there. That's really nice. Uh, I like that. But yeah, we'll take the magazine extender for that. Um, we can probably modify the pistol with it, honestly. So modify this guy and put the put the mag extender in this guy. I think it's got it's got enough room. There you go. Nice. So it has no uh, durability left, but at least it still has a mega center, right? Um, and then we can get crossbow. That's only going to scrap to parts, which I don't really need anyway. 
Okay, so I don't want to drop down here. We want to kind of come off the roof in a safe-ish way if we can. If, if such a thing exists, there we go. And we come down here. And oh, isn't it? There's like a little elevator here as well with a bag behind it that I totally didn't get. Oh, and there's our um, there's our glow stick. It fell down here. Okay, so the glow stick fell there. Uh, how do I get down from here? Can I come through here? I sure can. There we go. That's that. And then we need to go down, and that's it. The Omeliopes is done. Okay, we are almost at the next level, guys. We're almost level 20. Almost able to do all the cool stuff that we can with workbenches and things. But before we can get level 20, we just got to kill a couple more Zeds. The Serid has like 50 seconds left on it, so that's fine. Just going to knock this guy down. There we go. Yeah, so we're almost there. So literally, I just have to kill a few more Zeds, um, put my stuff back, and that's going to be oh, awesome. Uh, Taco Beal. I, I, I guess that's uh, I guess that's definitely not a pun on Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> I, I guess not. I think I think it's just a I think it's just a, a coincidence. That kind of looks like an armor an armored head face kind of thing. That looks, that looks, what, what, an armored head face. What, what what's an armored head face, Max? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And look look at this place here. It's really cool places here. Is this like one of those um, Chinese buildings things that they had? Because I know I know like in. Um, World of Warcraft, I think it was. They they had all these like Japanese towns and stuff like that, that you could find, which is really cool. Uh, what we got here? Engine and a piston. Yeah, we can we can leave that. Okay. Oh yep. Yeah. The steroid has now worn off, so let's go ahead and do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. There you go. That should increase my movement speed by yeah a huge amount, like a huge amount. Let's increase it by. What is this? Place? Is this like a Chinese restaurant? I think it is. Yeah, I, th I think we found the Chinese restaurant, guys. Nice, uh, Ollie, here, can I have some chicken fried rice? I already want some. You, you will serve me chicken fried rice. No, then I will talk to your associate over here. Someone will serve me chicken fried rice. I really I, I really crave some. You're not going to serve me either? Well, well sorry then. This, may, may, maybe, your, uh, maybe your manager. I can speak to your manager. What, what does your manager say? Your manager's not going to give me any other? Well, I'm going to have to leave a negative review on Trustpilot for this place. Okay. Oh look, there's, e there's even more of you guys here. Okay. Ready? Now, you're, now, now, now your staff are trying to attack me just for ordering chicken fried rice. That this is not right. I, I, d I demand, I demand a, a refund on the money that I didn't yet pay for my chicken fried rice. I demand it. Go ahead. Get down. Stupid zombie. There you go. And there you go, guys. We finally leveled up, and we're now level 20, and we have six skill points to spend, which is very, very nice. So. What we can do now is we can get to um, in our intellect tree right now. We can now go ahead and purchase Tinkerer, which allows you to build uh, table saws and craft items at 20% faster. So that's workbench and table saws is done. So there we go. If we can do that, we can get yes, yeah, science level one. Um, so we can now craft chemistry stations and items with them, craft glue and alloy cream cheaper, and gunpowder in efficient stacks. So that's actually pretty good as well. So maybe we could go and I could go ahead and put the point into here as well. Um, yeah, you don't like to learn new stuff, but you will if you had to. 250% headshot damage, and an 8% chance to dismember the undead. Yeah, I think we'll take this one as an actual perk itself. Um, we're going to go into. I think we're going to go into Florida Shoot here as well. Um, so 10 inch station, in, but it's heat and cold. Could be handy. But I don't know. Let's, let's see what else we have here. So Insect is now, f is now level 4. So yeah, we're, we're, we're thick headed right now. Um, let's see, Grease Monkey, can we get the Mini Bike Master? We can, but crafting the Mini Bike is going to be a lot more difficult. So I think we'll go, yeah, science for now. we we'll craft this thing. Um, who's coming in here? Oh, did you come to order chicken fried rice too? I guess not. I guess, you're I, guess you're, I guess you're associated with the businessmen in here. You did, you did not come to order chicken fried rice, did you? No. Okay, so we still got a couple of, a couple of skill points to spend. I really like how you get five of them every ten, or like five extras every ten levels. I love that. Um, okay, so let's go to. We don't get we don't get lucky looter, do we? That's um, something we don't get. Doing is twenty percent faster. Now down to six meters. Yes, this one we can get, and then this one gives you. Your lock's improving, and no matter where you look, you seem to find something good. As 20 to loot bonus. Yeah, we'll get that, and we have one more point available to spend. And I guess we can put that into... Let's see. Uh, the Huntsman, here we go. Um, does, any, does any of these allow us like, to get the Beehive? Let's have a look at the Beehive. What pack do we need for that? 
So, because that's something that we need to level in. So, beehive requires. It's only unlocked by a beehive schematic. Um, so, eight bees and crafting area in the workbench. So, yeah, only the beehive schematic can unlock that. So, yeah, we're going to have to use knowledge points uh, in order to do that. Okay. Um, so, we have one more one more point to spend. What do we want to do it in? Salary operations could be nice. That could that could be one we do. Um, or. We go for physician, here we go. Um, healing items heal 10% more health and heal over time 20% faster. Gain 20% more XP using bandages, first aid kits, first aid kit, um, first aid bandages, first aid kits, and splints. Uh, yeah, okay. We are, we are now a quack. There we go. So yeah, lots of essential skills in the intellect tree now we have unlocked, which is brilliant. So there we go, guys. We've unlocked all this good stuff. And we are now going to be able to craft ourselves a workbench and move and pretty much move along in our questing. It's going to be awesome. So what we're going to do, guys, I think at this point, we're at a pretty good point where we can go ahead and uh, we'll probably go ahead and end off the episode here, guys. In the next episode, we'll finally get to going and completing some quests and uh, getting around to doing all the stuff that required the workbench. So things like the table saw um, and all that stuff requires the workbench. Once we do that, we should be pretty good to getting everything uh, underway and uh, doing some more in the quest line. It's going to be really, really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. I'll meet you guys when we're back at base. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, until then, bye! Still want my chicken fried rice.